Oh, oh, oh. G'day, Joe. How are you? <laughs> I'm just chipping the ice off the uh, the pool while I'm in the middle of my training for the big event that's coming up next Saturday, <laughs> and that is the Strong Grandpa Iron Grandpa Triathlon Back Garden Triathlon that we're going to do right here in this back garden. So the plan is I'm going to do a a one kilometer swim in the pool, which is about 70 laps of the pool. And I'm doing that one kilometer to represent and to celebrate Margot's first birthday, yay! Because I can't see Margot on her birthday. And if I don't see her next Saturday, which I can't because of the COVID thing, I'm gonna spend the whole day crying. So instead, I'm gonna spend the whole day doing this triathlon. And so, one kilometer swim, around the pool, 70 laps about. Then I'm gonna jump out and I'm gonna get on the bike right here and I'm gonna do a 100 kilometer ride on the exercise bike. Let me get rid of the hammer. And that's to celebrate uh, Captain Tom Moore's 100th birthday, yay! <laughs> he's gonna be 100 next week or this week and uh, he's the best strong grandpa we know at the moment, isn't he? He's quite incredible. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do a run in the garden here. I've got about um, 10 to 12 meters of, of area here. So um, that's going to take me about three hours, I think. And that's a half marathon, 21 kilometers. So one kilometer, 100 kilometers on the bike, and then 21 kilometers in the garden to finish it up. I'm guessing around about eight hours. So the reason I'm doing it is that we're trying to raise some money for our community group, the Strong Grandpa community group. We decided that we would raise, try and raise some money to get the word out there, try and push Strong Grandpa, and to try to inspire more people <laughs> to get out there and do some exercise to help their physical health and mental health. Mental health is the main thing we're, we're focusing on. Through physical exercise, the improvement to mental health is immense. It's fantastic. And we've been talking about it now for about two years, and we're gonna keep talking about it. And we will get to start shouting about it. And I'm doing it in the garden because I wanna show people that you can do exercise at home, even during this crazy uh, period that we're all in and we're all experiencing. And the rules are to try and stay at home as much as we can. Exercising in the house, in and around the garden is possible. Even if you haven't got a garden, on my birthday, which was about three or four weeks ago, I did a half marathon in the kitchen. <laughs> that took four hours and four minutes. So I know that this run here is gonna take me three and a half hours. So next Saturday, uh, I'm gonna start about eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna do some, uh, we're gonna set up a camera in the corner with a Facebook Live on it. So we're gonna uh, have the whole thing running live. Um, we might do some zoom as well. I'll, I'll set up a laptop when I'm on the um, on the bike because I'll be static here for a good three hours, maybe even longer. So we can do some zooming. I can talk to some people, and it's because it's Margot's birthday. We'll have a cake and uh, we'll do a FaceTime with those guys who are over in Reading. We're in Basingstoke. Uh, Strong Grand Park Community Group is in Basingstoke. It started in Basingstoke. We're going international. <laughs> We've got guys with these t-shirts on now in all over the world, which is fantastic. Uh, we're a non-profit, so we don't charge money. We meet every Wednesday here in Basingstoke and do exercise. And the whole idea is to inspire guys of a certain age in their golden years to keep moving and um, focus on positive change, improving their health, and in turn, and the main thing, like I say, improving your mental health. All right. so. I'll see you Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. Uh, hopefully, most of the ice will be out of the pool by then. <laughs> right, everybody. Get out there and go for it. Yeah.